What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of NBA 2K18 My Player Career. Look at all these plebs around us. 60, 66, 62 back there in the back. Y'all uh, y'all need some work on your game. No, I'm just kidding. We, uh, we need to work on our game, man. We need to pick our stats up a little bit. We've uh, just been barely struggling around that like four, five, six points a game area, and I really want to start getting some more PT, so hopefully we can start working towards that today, but uh, let's see what's going on on our phone here. We've got a new message from our agent. Yo, DJ Tanner, got a full house. Your endorsement money up in the alley-oops for you to pick up. Uh, bro, don't call me that. I don't even know what that means, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no sense of humor. Just come get your check. All right. I'll come get my check. That sounds good to me. So we're going to go pick up a check and then we're going to play in a couple of games today. And hopefully we can start getting some stuff done. I don't know, but like I, I don't think we're doing poorly. Our last game in the last episode wasn't the best. We were like two for seven or something like that. But I mean, sometimes that's that's not out of the ordinary for a, for a you know pro basketball player. You know what I mean? You can't be great every night. But we just we need more time. We need more court time. What's up, Brian? So you have something for me? I do indeed. Here you go. Nice, man. <sighs> All right, 200 VC, I'll take it. Up to 35K. Looking pretty good, bro. That pre-order bonus was whew, top notch. 250,000 is a pre-order bonus. That's nuts. All right. You guys will notice that we're an 85 overall now. I had one. Uh, one little attribute in our steal missing, so we did that. Now we're gonna go ahead and play our next game. We're gonna be playing the Spurs. We're three and zero, and we're zero and four. Ah, what the! One person will prank me during the pregame and has a key to the supply closet. Who? Is it Boo Boo? Hey, you seen Jug? Jug, yeah. Jug, Jug, get over here, man. <laughs> yeah, I know you did it. I'm gonna get you back. Wait, wait, wait. Who is this? Man, this is Brandon, aka Lil Jug, aka Knucklehead. And let him tell you, he the best player that never made the team. Psh, I'm gonna cross you up right now, Shannon. What's good? Come you on. see what I mean? This day. Look, man, this is DJ, my rookie. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, what's up, man? <laughs> oh, my bad. This is my favorite song right now. Uh, okay, was that Yachty? Actually, it is. You know, you might be I. Yeah, I'm better than that. Yeah, he are. I might even let you check out my mixtape. This guy. It's not a bad mixtape. <laughs> Look, man, they call me DJ for a reason, all right? I do this. So if your stuff's not hot, I'll let you know. Oh, it's hot. I rap just as good as I ball and almost as good as I dance. Uh, what? Oh, boo-boo, let's get it. Uh, mm, mm. Yeah. Hey, boo-boo. Hey, boo-boo. Listen, man, I'm going to see you, Brandon. I got to get ready. All right, man. Hey, man, and I'm going to go find somebody to clean out my locker since Jug over here is needed out on the floor. I'm going to get you back, Jug. Later, man. So what does he do? All right, guys, here we go. Back in the Amway Center at home. Let's see what we can do today against the Spurs. So uh, you guys know we're still winless this season. We're 0-4 so far. And uh, I'm hoping we can turn that around today. I'm hoping to make some moves. I've been kind of like thinking about how exactly I want to do this series. Part of me is thinking about doing more of like cutting out the highlights of each game and, and like only showing like the moments where we score or make defensive plays or make turnovers and mess up and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Uh, so I'm thinking about doing that. But then part of me is also like, you know, do we just want to do like the full longer live com type video? Because that's what this channel is mostly known for. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. We did kind of the cut up stuff. And a couple of the games in the prelude, but uh, I don't know. Let me know. Let me know how you guys feel about that. Whoa. Whoa. All right, that looks pretty sick. Ooh, we've got the the magic starting lineup. Jonathan Isaac. All right. Fournier. Okay. Aaron Gordon, of course. Alfred Payton. Nikolai Vucevic. Our boy. 
Dude, I can't wait till our name is called in these starting lineups, man. Here we go. That was kind of a cool little cool little opening there. Let's see what we can do. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Brent Berry and Greg Anthony. Right. We've got David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Come on, boys. Their last game, a win Let's make something happen. Miami. Well, we're going to lose the tip. That's all right, though. We're going to be coming in 216 left. Wow, we're up by nine. Hopefully, we are going to gonna lose the lead here. Hopefully, we aren't going to blow this. Right. I'm going to kind of... Kind of treat this a little bit like we did our last game where I'm going to take some shots. They aren't all going to be the best shots. I'm going to try to make them good shots. I'm also going to try to be a team player whenever we can. Oh, that was just kind of a tough spot to be in the fast break. But, uh, yeah, I'm, just, I'm going to try to create some opportunities for us while also being a team player. I'm just going to be a little bit more personal focused, I guess. I don't know. We need to start up with our stats a little bit so we can impress the coach and get some more playing time. Well, you look at that trade for Serge Ibaka going into last season, and that was probably a sign that ownership go ahead and run the pick and roll here. They wanted to cash in their chips and and really go. See, like he's and now they might need. He's given us a little bit of space, and I'm thinking about taking the shot there. He made the right decision though. Pass to assist. 16-7. This is looking good. Basketball. Murray gets to Anderson. There's a good screen. Good old Manu Ginobili. I want to splash a three in his face. Got to hit the open man there. Yes, sir. I'll take the assist. Stuff like that, we got to go to our team. But other times, I'd like to try to create some stuff for us. And Wells' ability to make those plays has never been questioned. It's just his focus on the game. The Good plays so far. Good plays. plays. That has kind of gotten him in a little bit of trouble. But make no mistake, the talent is there. <sighs> Ignored all my calls for pass. Outside, Mark. All right. Should we run a play here? Wells P and R. Six to shoot. I don't really know what Mr. we're Ross. supposed to do here. I'll take it. I don't really run too many plays in 2K. We got to start getting used to that kind of thing. But that that was decent. Worked out. And we scored. We really should start running more plays than just like ISO and pick and roll. Got some help on that D. Oh, we got to box out, gents. Outside, Mark. Ross in the corner. Over game. Bounces high. Good play. All right. Drops. Ross has got five points so far. Ross has got five points. We've got two. And we're, most importantly, we're up by 16 points right now. That's incredible. I haven't seen a lead that big so far this entire series. So this is off to a good start. I mean, we scored 50% from the floor. Have a couple of nice little plays directing the offense, that sort of thing. This is going well. Hopefully we can keep it up. And the Gasol brothers, Pau, talked about the joy of sharing the NBA stage with his brother, Mark like a dream come true it's hard to really picture it i'm just proud to be mark's brother and i'm proud of what he's become as a basketball player and as a as a man oh that's sweet all right oh man we're getting five we're starting the second quarter okay we're starting to make some progress here boys let's get it especially let's not blow this all right let's try a little pick and roll Mark Gasol was when he was drafted by the Lakers. I mean, they traded him to Memphis. Yes, sir. His Easy and drive. It all seem like fiction, doesn't it? Let's start heating up a little bit here, boys. Back. It's been Saw that microwave so pop up in the top. Quarter. As our second quarter gets top underway. Right. Guys, we've seen the magic really Ooh. take control here. I thought about switching to that guy. We probably should have. the basketball, built up a little lead here, and looking good. Well, when you come out in the first Ooh, quarter with that kind I thought of about offense, hitting them. obviously the game plan is in full effect. Let's see if they can keep that momentum going. He's got Bismack Biombo, EJ out there with Simmons. Then there's Maurice Spates, and it's Ross. Oh, come on, man. We had good spacing right there, too. We just can't knock it down. Bro, honestly, what I think we need to do is get in the gym and practice on our, our jump shot release a little bit. 
I think it could use a little bit of work. Beautiful basketball is playing the right way. Ball movement, pure, beautiful basketball is the way we play. You have all sorts of fans. I don't think we have the best, uh, everybody. Kevin, I'm going to go space low post. Ago, if we were so we're going to start up here. People would love us. Pass it to him. And during Popovich's time in San Antonio, the Spurs have always played together. We got to start these plays earlier in the shot clock. But uh, yeah, I think we need to kind of work on our release a little bit. I feel like we never really get excellent releases. And I realize this is going to come with time as we upgrade our character and get more. Oh, nice. Oh, at least we got a shot off. That was a good attempt. Because um, I mean, our, our jump shot isn't all the best best right now but I just I feel like we never really get those those perfect releases which we want and you only see him do a I'm gonna start making some more shots think about the lineup needs some tinkering well if it's younger guys and still guys who are trying to develop and now you're asking them to expand their games I think oh here on the side of being all right 12 to 25 we're still looking okay here we're probably gonna come out pretty soon some nice ball movement right here the pass to Simmons Getting hit for excessive call for pass, but I'm not getting the ball when I'm wide open, man. It's so frustrating. Yes! Let's go, baby! For the fans. Alright, we got seven points in the first half, boys. This is our best game yet. It's not great. But we're starting to do a little bit better, which is exciting. I like this view. The lane, or or even the boundary, white. That's a great question, Kevin. I, I often thought that the league should widen the court to the point <laughs> where the 23-9 three-point line should be a, an exact semicircle. Is the same, yes. Which would yes. extend the court another couple feet on each end and create more space, more driving opportunities. More oh wow, that's an interesting. I didn't know they've been talking about expanding the width of the court. These announcers are talking about it. That's pretty cool. Us, so. All right, we got to take it out. Orlando. At the half, we're up by 11. 11 we're looking pretty good, boys. This might be our first ever win. Thank you, Kevin. Elford, you guys scored a lot in the first half. What are you doing well offensively? Uh, I think it starts with defense. Uh, we're able to get out in transition. We're getting rebounds and pushing the ball. I think that's what's getting us open looks. Well, we'll see you Thanks, David. And we'll be back shortly I feel bad I'm coming for his job. He's our point guard, and <laughs> that's the position we're playing. I'd love to run a point guard shooting guard combo with them but look at that b minus we've got seven points and assists we're having a good game so far all right coming in 341 left in the third we're up by nine let's extend that a little bit we don't want to fall apart here can't leave me that open dude Right now for the Tony Parker, what's up, bro? Of Leonard and Aldridge at the three and the four. Let's We're hot. We're feeling it. Oh no! <laughs> We're hot. We're feeling it. We might as well foul. Okay. Fourth quarter of play, and over three and a half minutes have gone by. And as we head to the final buzzer here, a crushing blowout. Big time dominance, and and this will go in the record books. Bro, this guy is all freaking over, over me, man. This was a team performing to its uh, fullest capability. Assists, yes, sir. Boys, we hit double digit points. We've got two assists. I wish we wouldn't have fouled. I cannot believe the coach just immediately took me out as soon as we fouled. We were on fire. We were gonna start dropping everything. And with the win approaching, they'll take the first game here of two that they'll play against this team. Nice to get that first one out of the way and set oh, the come tone. on. And for the Magic, Bismack Biambo is out there with Isaac. Then it's Good play, not to foul. Then That's all right. We can give that up. We're up by 30, bro. In at the three slot. On the floor We're fine. for San Antonio, Aldridge and Kawhi Leonard, the two stars at the forward spots. I want to try running some more plays here. Green, and it's Gasol. Martin P and R. Out the middle. DJ kicks to Augustine. Back to Martin. And good. I mean, I don't think that was the play, but we were wide open, so I'm going to take it. And this is how you close out a game, not taking any chances. Yeah, you got to be I'm happy with our performance here today, guys. The tide can turn on you. Only thing I'd take back is that foul, but everything else has been going to plan. This all a screen. 
Aldridge. Just trying to get sneak in and get a rebound right there. Of Lamarcus Aldridge, able to power right. in the Can we get 15? When being fouled. Give me the ball. Outside Martin fires the three. Oh my gosh, dude, that looked good. We had a good release on it too. From the start of the game to the finish of the game, we kind of dial in that release a little bit more. We might not need any time in the practice gym, but that was good stuff. 12 points. Had some assists, had some nice passes, some good plays, ran some plays. I don't think we can ask for a whole lot more. This is Kevin Harlan along with our 2K Sports crew. It was that, uh, the locker room pranks. See you next time. That's what did it for us. We need more of those pranks. Gave us good vibes. I mean, the Spurs are a good team and we just blew them out. Holy cow. It felt good. One thing you gotta learn is you gotta travel light on road trips. Some guys wanna bring every freaking thing. Well, it depends on how long we're out though, right? Two weeks, two days, whatever. I bring one roller suitcase and a backpack max. That's it. I used to have a teammate. He'd always bring a suitcase of his sneakers, his clothes, his gaming council. That would be hey, me. That sounds like an idea, actually. A bag of books, like hardcover books, not paperbacks, not ebooks. <laughs> Two laptops and like five cell phones. What, were you balling with Ever Snow? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Look, he go out on the road prepared for the world to end. The point is, you don't need all that. A bag, a suitcase, and like two cell phones. That's it. That's it. And my laptop. That goes right in your bag. And my game console. Ah, here we go. Oh, <laughs> game on the road now. You already know you owe me a couple dinners. Wait, he still owes you those dinners. I do. Can you believe that, Boo Boo? I can believe it. Yeah. This guy can't be trusted. All right. So I'm super happy with that performance, guys. That's good stuff. We're going to go ahead and head on out of here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, I'm going to see you guys in the next episode.